Meat Boy is back because today we are making Gelatina di Pata, aka Cow's Hoof Custard. Sounds very strange because it is. And I was on TikTok earlier and this guy was making this weird, what looked like a stretched ice cream. And then I read the comments and apparently it's an Argentinian dish, dessert, made from the hoof of a cow. And if you look at the classic recipe, they boil it down like they're making a stock and then they take the meat, the soft bones and the cartilage, blend it up with the stock and then add sugar and seasonings and spices to it and call it ice cream. Now, to me, it doesn't make sense why you would blend the meat with the broth as opposed to making a collagen broth because the collagen is going to be much less beefy, which makes more sense for dessert. So we're going to do my take on that today, and I think it's going to turn out really, really tasty and arguably the most amazing way uh, to get gelatin into your diet and almost like ice cream. Now, the cook time on that recipe using the cow hoof didn't seem like a long enough period of time to actually make a gelatinous, you know, jelly-like broth. So that's maybe why they were blending it together. But we do have the collagen extract from Frankie's syringe meat, which is the base of what we're using for this recipe. And then we want to use some very powerful floral dessert like aromatics to infuse it. So we have some cinnamon, vanilla, and honey. Uh, we're going to add a bit of the flextrose too as the main sweetener with just a small amount of honey for the floral aspect. So if you guys are unfamiliar with flextrose, we launched it a few years ago now. It's a 100% glucose powder, which is much easier on the liver and digestion than other sugars, which have fructose in them as well. Now you guys can see the ice cream maker from last time, which we're not gonna actually use today, but maybe this recipe would work in that too. These are still a little cold, so we basically have to scoop out all the gelatin. I would say one of these jars is two big servings of dessert, so. You know, don't use two jars unless you're cooking for like your whole family. Now, if you smell this, it's a light, light, light beef scent. But if you were to like blend up some meat and bones in here, then it's gonna be like funky farmyard, not great for dessert. So we want one cinnamon stick per jar. Should probably break these, or you can just use like a um, pinch of cinnamon, teaspoon of vanilla powder, dash of vanilla extract, and we're gonna do a tablespoon of a raw organic Italian orange blossom honey. And we want all of these aromatics in the beginning because as this simmers, it's really gonna infuse all of the flavors into the collagen broth. You know, if you were to just add this stuff, only cook it a few minutes or like add the honey at the end, it's not going to mix as well together. And the main goal here to me is to cover up uh, the beef flavor and make something as dessert-like as possible. So we're gonna put this on the stove top, maybe a medium high heat until we get this at a light boil. Okay, so our gelatin infusion is at a boil and this really should go for about an hour and then preferably sit overnight because you really want those aromatics and those flavors to infuse in this. But since we did add the liquid vanilla extract, a lot of vanilla, the honey and the cinnamon, even if you do this for 15, 20 minutes, it's still gonna be good, but the longer the better. The only problem is, you know, you don't want this to reduce that much. So since we are gonna let this go for a while, I'm gonna add maybe half a cup of water to make up for the evaporation. So this we'll put on low heat and we'll check back in about an hour. All right, so this has been simmering for about an hour now. We're just gonna scrape any foam or impurities off the top. Now you could use sugar or honey for this, really any sweetener. Uh, today we're using the flexos that we showed you guys earlier. And I'm gonna add maybe three quarters of a cup to this amount of collagen. So that mixes in very, very quickly. We don't have to cook it any longer. So here we just have two bowls. All right guys, so we're just gonna pop these in the fridge for a few hours and let them cool off. Guys, tell me how this light looks because I feel like I'm getting interrogated. Anyway, I actually did a 15 minute simmer versus a one hour simmer. So we have two different examples to see if there is a, a significant change in the flavor. So the texture is just like jello. It's, it's jello. Uh, when I saw that recipe on TikTok, they were like stretching it and pulling it. So. 
they're definitely doing something different, but I also think they added dairy, uh, t dairy to their version of it. it. Smells just like a lot of cinnamon. I mean, it's good. It's not that sweet. Uh, the glucose and the flextrose um, isn't like super overpoweringly sweet because there isn't a fructose content to it. And fructose is usually the sweeter component of sugar. It tastes like a good cinnamon jello. You don't get that much vanilla. Maybe a little bit on the end, but it's really, really good. I would even let this uh, sit at room temperature um, instead of cold. So now we'll try the one hour simmer. This one is significantly better but I think that's because the texture is a little lighter because I added some water to it before I simmered it down. So this is like, it's okay, it's enjoyable. Like, I could sit down and have a little bit for dessert if I was hungry, but this, even when I'm full, I want it, I want to actually have it. So this is actually a, a genuinely good dessert. And honestly, guys, I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out. Very good. Very, very good. From a nutrition perspective, this might be one of the most bioavailable things we've ever actually had because it's amino acids, broken down proteins from the collagen broth, and it's pure glucose, instantly absorbed by the body, so. But it's very filling. It's satiating, it's not like like that lemon sorbet we made the other week. Could just keep eating it. Speaking of lemon sorbet, I actually wanted to add a squeeze of lemon juice to this, but I think, I think it's better without it. I mean, this is without a doubt the healthiest way to get protein in a dessert. Excellent for kids. Very good for kids. Anyway, guys, this is very, very delicious exceptional and most importantly you don't taste the beef there's no beef flavor in this whatsoever it's like pure gelatin and that's nice because normally to get that you'd have to like buy some synthetic laboratory collagen gelatin mix and it wouldn't be that good for you so maybe we will have something like this on frankie strange meat i mean we have so many products now and you guys can make this yourself pretty easily so you can get the collagen broth on Frankie's syringe meat. We have the flextrose on Frankie's syringe foods. And I'm sure most of you guys have all the spices or whatever you would want to add to this uh, in your cabinet. So another you know, nice thing about this is that it's not too ingredient intensive and it's pretty easy to make. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this recipe. I think you can make this 100% carnivore with just the collagen broth and honey, but it, it wouldn't taste nearly as good. Still be pretty delicious though, I'm sure. And uh, maybe in the future we'll try a version where we blend it up with the meat and the uh, other stuff. But um, from reviews I've read about the recipe, it does taste a little gamey and farmy and beefy if you do that. But as always, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore. Definitely check out all of my businesses, guys, if you would like to support me. I'll see you for the next video.